Hello and welcome back to Off-Road Yota Exploration. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. Today we're going to have a look at my top 10 Amazon purchases I've made for the truck. Most of these aren't going to be specific to the Tacoma, but are going to be a great addition to any truck or vehicle. Nowadays it seems you can pretty much buy anything on Amazon. Anything from tires to winches to suspension and snorkels. Those items I generally like to buy directly from the manufacturer or from my local retailer. The items I'm going to be discussing today are smaller items that are best bought on Amazon for their ease and convenience. I'm also going to be including some affiliate links down below, so if you want to check out any of the items I'm going to be discussing, please use those links, it will help the channel a lot. And while you're down there, please smash the like button and hit subscribe if you like the video and would like to see some more of this content. So with that being said, let's go and check out these items. For the first item, we've got the phone mount that I've installed in my truck. This is a great little mount that can hold the phone nicely. You can also rotate it. And it's a perfect position for the phone, just to glance down to see maps or to see the time. And it doesn't block the view or anything. This is a great little mount. And we've got this nice little surface here on the Tacoma. But it also works great on other cars. They're usually a nice surface that these can be mounted to. And this has a lot of flexibility. You can rotate it around with the phone on there. This arm is also very flexible and can go into a lot of different positions. The magnet is also very strong. So even off-roading, the phone doesn't fall off or anything. It even has a USB-C port over here to be able to charge the phone using the wireless charging. So I've really enjoyed this item, it's been very practical and it's for a phone mount it's the best one that I've used so far and it doesn't require a lot of parts to be able to mount it. It comes with the adhesive on the bottom and you peel it off and you can stick it on. For the next item, we're going to be going to the glove box. And in here, I've got a little power bank. This can be used to jumpstart the car. And it's also usable as a power bank just to be able to charge items. And it also has a flashlight on it. And has a little port on the side here. We can plug in these jumper cables. These I usually keep under the back seat. Um, but yeah, this plugs right into the side here. And this can be used to jump start this truck. Many other vehicles have jump started with it, including forklifts and bigger trucks than this. So it's really practical to have these. I believe everybody should have one of these in their car. And I don't think this one is for sale anymore, but I've linked a different one down below. And these are very practical and can get you out of a sticky situation very nicely. For the next item, I'm going to discuss these dividers for this glove box helpful to organize things and keep things segregated and make better use of the space and I've also got this little tray in here that can hold coins and just divides the space a little bit and provides an additional area to store some things and then in here you have another divider to help segregate items and keep things organized and make good use of the space these are nice little cheap additions that can be added to the truck or any vehicle. And these provide a lot of practicality. And I've, as you can see, used them to store a lot more things in those areas. The next item we're going to discuss is a bit hidden and can't really be seen, but it's very practical. This is a 10 foot uh, USB-C cable that I've mounted here to charge a GoPro when it's in this location. 
and I've run it, it's a 10 foot cable because I've run it all the way underneath the headliner, down the A pillar, behind the glove box, through the center console, all the way up into here where it's plugged in to the cigarette 12 volt lighter and it's powered from there. It's also got an additional USB-C plug on there to be able to charge. This is a great little setup and conveniently the 10 feet was a perfect length to be able to get it up there. So depending on your vehicle you might be able to run something similar or if you have a Tacoma know that 10 feet is the perfect length to be able to run a cable right there. The next item on the list is my TRD shift knob. I don't know if TRD actually makes this one, but it's got a cool little TRD logo on the side, as well as the shift pattern on top. And I think it's a great little looking shift knob and a great change from the stock one that was on there. Uh, to run this, you have to modify the boot a little bit. It has like a collar that attaches to the stock shift knob. So I just took that off and put in a rubber grommet there. But I think it turns out really great. And it's a nice change from the stock one. So I really like that. And there are lots of different shift knobs that you can get for your trucks, even for automatics. So that was a great little change that I really like. The next item is another item that I believe should be in every vehicle and that is a Leatherman. In the truck I always carry my Leatherman Surge and on me I always carry a Leatherman Signal these are great multi-tools and are very practical. I also carry a lot of other tools in my truck, but you don't always want to have to get those out if you need to just fix a little thing. These are very practical. And I also carry this little collection of tools that can be used with the Leatherman, depending on what the job is. That's nice and easily convenient Look at there, located in the center console and I can get to it easily and don't have to dig out some bigger tools. So these are very practical to have and can get also get you out of a sticky situation if you don't have any other tools. So Leatherman or any kind of decent multi-tool can be used and should be carried in the truck. To help out with those situations. The next item I'm going to be discussing are my rock lights. So I've got two of them mounted under the hood as well as one on each corner by the tires. These are great little lights, very bright and very inexpensive. They do a great job. These do a great job. Very simple little light, very inexpensive and easily to wire up. As I said, I've got six of them. They come in a pack of six or even a pack of large numbers. But they can easily be wired up and put out great light and have held up for a long time. So I haven't had any issue with those. Another item that's very helpful to have on the truck is a headlamp. I've actually carried two in the truck because just to have for camping but it's also great to have these 
in case you need them work on the truck at night or anything when if you break down and you could just carry a normal torch but these are very practical so you can see but also have your hands free and these are also very inexpensive so they're great this one is a rechargeable one this one uses AAA batteries so best of both worlds the next item is a little bit specific to the Tacoma or rather to leaf sprung trucks this is a replacement spacer for the leaf packs I've changed them out for all of the spaces on my old man emu leaf spring pack the stock the ones that come with those are a bit noisy and wear out pretty quickly and since i've changed these out they've been holding up really well i haven't had any more noise and they're holding are very quiet some of the locations like here do require a little bit of trimming on the side just to be able to fit them in there but once you get them in they hold up really well I've also changed out the bushings on the leaf springs for some polyurethane ones mainly on the link over here the stock one is a rubber one that limits movement so changing that one out for polyurethane one has been a great change it allows the suspension to droop a little further and easier to change it out it's best to buy a new link from Toyota because they don't come with the rubber bushings pre-installed so you can easily insert the polyurethane bushings whereas if you try and use your existing link it can be really hard to get the rubber bushing out of there so those are two little great updates from Amazon that just make the leaf springs a lot better and for the last item on my list today I've got these door sill protectors these come standard on some trucks I believe uh, but mine didn't have it and I didn't run it for the first couple of years and I started to notice some chips and scratches on the door sill here so I've added these it's a great easy install they protect it well and also provide some additional grip going in and out of the vehicle and they look really good so I'm really happy with those and got them on all four corners all four doors the rear ones got a little Toyota logo on them and the front ones say Tacoma but these are available for most vehicles as well so you should be able to get one for your truck or vehicle and while we're here, we've got another little bonus tip for any vehicle. That's these little tissue boxes. They fit really nicely into any cup holder. And just to be able to have some tissues there. And I've kept an old one in there as well. Kind of use as a bin for used tissues or other rubbish. So that's a little bonus one in there. So those are my top 10 Amazon products plus some extra ones. I'm sure I've bought more stuff from there, but those are the big ones that stand out. I hope you found something useful. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Talking about tread lightly, I'm going to clean up a little bit more around this trailhead. There's a bunch of rubbish that I've found already, and there's no reason that should stay behind. So if you also support Tread Lightly, please comment that down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.